to maintain an effective quality management system, it isn't just about defining key performance indicators, but effectively communicating them to all functions and levels within the organization, then measuring performance, and then taking action to improve performance. This primarily relates to ISO 9001 requirements, 6.2 quality objectives, and the planning to achieve those objectives. Let's watch this video filmed at Jaguar Land Rover engine plant in the UK and see what we can learn from how this organization tries to address this requirement effectively within their quality management system. Todd, just following on from the information centre overview, could you just explain a little bit about this um, uh, yeah. activity? So this activity was driven by senior level management. Um, this was around a process called Juku. So this is to monitor crankhead machining, um, sorry, crankhead block, um, block the operation lines, and it is basically an overall indicator to drive efficiency and reduce costs. Yeah. So you're you're using OEE across the three machining lines to, to try and improve um, Cycle quality time. Yeah, yeah. availability. And what sort of targets are you are you looking to try and achieve on your OEE? So currently we've got the target set at 90%. Okay, okay. And, and again, you take actions to, to yeah, work to achieve that. Yeah. And work to achieve Brilliant. That. And, and just while we're here, I, I noticed you've got the um, questions here for the town hall yeah. event. What, what's the town hall? The uh, town hall is um, a business-wide uh, meeting where senior level management and directors um, hold a meeting to explain how the business is currently performing okay. and where the, um, the business um, aspirations and drives are going to. Okay. Um, so basically more about where do we set ourselves and where do we want to be in okay. the future. And, and anyone can, can put yeah, a question Yeah, as you can in. see, so post your questions, yeah. um, any questions, queries, any concerns, yeah. issues, um, post them in and yeah. that will then get driven through some senior management yeah. and they will then drive into the channel. Yeah. Thank you. All right. So in this video, we see the deployment of one of the organization's key performance indicators, namely OEE. Is the measurement of OEE mandated by ITF 169499? No, it, ITF doesn't mandate the use of OEE overall equipment effectiveness, but it is mentioned in the um, TPM, the Total Productive Maintenance Clause 8.5.1.5 as one possible measure uh, to monitor maintenance effectiveness. And again, as we heard in the video, um, OEE is, is more than just a maintenance objective. It's, uh, it's measured based on a combination of availability um, of equipment, performance of equipment, and quality from that equipment. And it's a really great way of measuring production efficiency and also understanding uh, capacity and, and whether an organization has additional capacity based on their OEE level. Yeah, it's certainly an indicator that we see a lot in the automotive supply chain. Devon, what about the setting then of OEE targets? Yeah, so the high level target needs to be defined by top management, but when deployed, there may be different targets in different parts of the manufacturing process. In this video, we saw the target of 90% for the crank head block machining area. 90% is an ambitious target. Yes, yeah, certainly uh, it is an ambitious target, but they were certainly striving towards that. Uh, let's move on to the town hall communication process. Now, what did you learn from that aspect of the video? Yeah, it's interesting that the term town hall is often used to describe a, a sort of plant-wide communication process. Um, and in many organisations, this is, is not always uh, fully effective, and it kind of only works one way so management downwards and what we clearly saw in this video um, is the JLR process to give all associates the opportunity to raise questions at the communication meeting but also that acknowledgement of um, effort which again is a, such a valuable part of this. Yes yeah, no I certainly agree with that now and Devon a broader question um, what did you see about employee engagement within this organization during our visit to JLR? Oh, absolutely. Uh, there were instances where top management was taking employee feedback extremely serious 
and incorporating answers to relevant questions in the town hall meetings. Yeah, and finally then, now, what do you think would be a reasonable frequency to have these type of town hall communications? Again, it, it depends really on, on each organisation, but for this type of meeting, kind of every three to six months is a good cadence. Um, it enables management to show trends over time. And it's, it's important as well that these meetings don't replace the need for kind of effective daily communication and associated actions. Um, so the two work well in parallel. Okay, thank you then, guys. Uh, so now let's summarize. ISO 9001 requirement 6.2, quality objectives and plan to achieve them, defines clear auditable requirements, not just for setting quality objectives, but ensuring they're deployed effectively. OEE is not a mandatory ITF 16949 measure, but it is a very good way of measuring and improving production efficiency. In many organizations, top management use the process of town hall communications to communicate to employees current levels of performance. While this is good, to ensure effectiveness, it's beneficial to give employees the opportunity to contribute to such communications or being able to raise questions and concerns. 